Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have some exciting news for everybody who wants to unlock their iPhone 4 on baseband 3.10.01 or 2.10.04. So I have a post over here on my website, besttechinfo.com. I will have a link to this post in the more info, and you guys can check it out and read more about it there. The title is Unlock for Basebands. 3.10.01 and 2.10.04 is on the horizon. So I'm just going to go ahead and read this. So Muscle Nerd, a member of the iPhone dev team, has already promised us an unlock closely following the release of iOS 4.3 and no sooner than that. And because iOS 4.3 is so close to public release, a popular baseband hacker, Sheriff Hashem, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but that's how I'm going to say it has provided an update on the oncoming Ultra Snow unlock for the iPhone 4. According to him, the baseband crash he found is confirmed to be working on both of the new basebands, which again are 03.10.01 and 02.10.04. So on Twitter, someone said that they didn't want to know an ETA, but they just wanted to know if the exploit worked on the new baseband or not. And he said, the one I found is working on both. So he did indeed confirm that his unlock is working on both of the basebands. So don't expect an unlock to be released right after iOS 4.3. The dev team will require at least a week or two for standard testing on the final version of iOS 4.3 before releasing the updated Ultra Snow unlock to the public. So also, as most of you know, Red Snow allows users to update their baseband to 06.15.00, which is also known as the iPad baseband, for a quick and easy unlock. Well, if you did that, then chances are good you know where I'm going with this. It disables you from updating your iPhone with Apple's stock firmware. You have to actually manually create a custom firmware inside of Ponage Tool or Snowbreeze. And as most of us know, Ponage Tool and Snowbreeze aren't usually updated to work with the latest firmware for quite some time. So, for instance, Snowbreeze was just recently updated to support 4.2.1, so that would get extremely annoying in the future. And the worst part is that as of now, there is no way to downgrade that iPad baseband. Well, rumor has it that the iPhone dev team is also working on a way to downgrade it. So just stay tuned for more updates. I will be posting them on this website and I will be making a video on updates as well. So hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Also remember to rate this video up and subscribe if you aren't already. This is ICU signing out. Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I just wanted to discuss three things somewhat briefly. Now the first thing is the iPad 2 and its launch, so it is supposed to be announced on Wednesday in San Francisco, California.